Yo Lantrun, welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and it's always exciting days after a new arc came in, in this case it's the Q Continuum Part 1. With it we also got a new building and that building is quite interesting and for me personally it will be quite helpful as well and we will see why. First of all I need to say the building is right below the um, shipyard. If you upgraded the game and I have to say if you're on iOS go to your app list and if you only see open there because we had a lot of people with that issue at the moment click on the game itself and, and not on open and then look if on the next screen it says uh, upgrade because that often happened to me in the past and we had a lot of uh, people with those issues I saw that on both of my discords uh, for example um, that didn't find that and of course as long as you don't upgrade you will not see uh, the, the possibility to build that new building. So have a look there, not on the normal list. If it only says open on the normal list, click the game itself, not open and then see if you can see upgrade there because that repaired it for some people um, that had trouble doing that. There is an upgrade. It's not always the best that there's an upgrade. I have a lot of bugs as well at the moment because of the upgrade, especially with a new location system. My bookmarks are not working and uh, coordinates posted on the Alliance chat are not working uh, properly. So um, we will have to live with that for the moment. I'm discussing that with support for quite some time. But if you upgraded the game, you will be able to build the new building I want to talk about today. And uh, if you're op 16, so one six at least. Then in the um, chests, the gift chests on the top right, you should find the material to build that building. And that's not only now at the beginning when it came out, that's how it's supposed to work in the long run. Scopely said they will always do it that way. As, as soon as you reach op 16, you will find the material in the gift chest. Then you will see a green cross here where the building is standing in my case then click that, build the building, and then you will have it. And then if we click the building, there are two things. First of all, I want to talk about the details um, of the building. And then we will talk about the archives. The normal details are that it brings some buffs with it, as, as buildings often do. In this case, there is a cost efficiency for station module non-sigma resources. There is a station module sigma resources cost efficiency that's rising. There is a station module materials cost efficiency, a chaos tech level up uh, cost efficiency, and a chaos tech tier up cost efficiency and um, the number of archive shards you can claim, we will talk about that in a second, is also here. And if you look at the details, as usual, you can see with what level, what buffs you will get. I'm on level 11 at the moment, um, and uh, it gets higher and higher. And especially the material and uh, Sigma resources stuff, is for me now very important for you. The non-Sigma resources will be very important because um, that and the material is always very expensive for upgrading your ops. So upgrading ops should be, and not only ops, but the other buildings, should now work faster with the bonuses from this building. So um, the buffs this building brings, I really, really like, I must say already, um, because that is always the biggest issue, the resources and the materials because rising level also means it gets far more expensive and that is something I really, really like. Um, so nothing to complain about about the building here on, on the buffs it brings. But it also brings the archives. And I talked about this in the preview in my midday video um, this week before the um, Battle Pass came out that there you can get a certain bus for a number of ships. At the moment is these five ships. It's the Botany Bay, the Vida, the Vida Tellius, the Voyager and the Monovine. And one you can immediately get started with. That's the Botany Bay um, because that's free. You don't need any materials to um, unlock the buffs it brings. You see that I've unlocked a number of those. And each of them brings certain 
buffs with it. The first one will bring you 10% Botany Bay components uh, cost efficiency, 100% data mining speed, 25% data mining bonus, and 5% mining speed in general. And uh, that will continue through these levels. But these levels have prerequisites, and you can see it because I haven't mastered them all, although they don't cost anything. They are free to do, but they have prerequisites like this one. For the last two, I need to reach Botany Bay Tier 8. That's not a problem, mine is maxed. But I also have to reach Archives Level 12. My archive is on Level 11, so uh, next level I can unlock the next uh, part of the buffs, the 35% mining speed uh, for the Botany Bay here. And then um, on Level 16, I can unlock the last ones, which also bring... Uh, a golden botany bay avatar by the way and uh, here as i said the only prerequisites is the level of the, the or the tier of the botany bay and the level of the archives otherwise it's completely free to do that but you see something on the top already that's the archive data shards those are the material you usually need to unlock those things here for certain ships and if we look here at my Monovine, I unlocked one of those already because spending uh, those things was, was part of, of an event already. Here, it works the same. It brings certain bonuses to your Monovine. And uh, in this case, it also has those prerequisites, only that at maximum will require an ar uh, archive level of 30. But in this case, it costs those um, archive data shards. Those are not for free like the Botany Bay, but those are doable still by acquiring those data shards. And here we go. I, knowing Scopely, I was a little bit uh, suspicious how this will work, how expensive it will be. Of course, you can buy those data shards now to speed that all up, but there is a free way to do both, upgrading the building and um, unlocking those buffs for the certain ships and that is via your normal chests. If we look at the building resources, there you see that you have um, a daily claim of independent archive schematics, those you need to upgrade the, the independent archives and you see there is a daily claim of archive data shard. The amount uh, depends on uh, your archive uh, level as I've shown you earlier, so it doesn't matter that I cannot uh, click them now because um, because of the running events. I have to do it at, uh, at the evening as soon as I can, and I did this, of course, when, when the battle pass started. But, but it's not very important to see how many I get every day. Um, you will see that when you look at your archive for the level, how much you get, and that's it. And here you get those... Um, for free daily, you see for the uh, data shards, there's a max capacity of 5,000. Um, so you cannot um, collect more before you use them. But 5,000 is quite a lot, so th that will not be an issue. But here's the way to do it for free. So you do not have to spend any money on this unless you want to speed the process. So overall, I must say I really like that new building. There will some be some people, especially in the case of the Monovine, on certain levels. For me, that's not important anymore because uh, I have completely different ships um, now. But for some, it will be important because um, the Monovine has a PvP um, aspect in it. So on, on some newer servers and uh, for the players there, this might affect it if people decide to, to spend money and, and uh, do it more quickly here because the... Apex Barrier um, PvP for the Monovine goes higher and higher. But it's a lot with other things as well. If people spend money, they get the advantage. But in, in general, everybody can do this for free. And that's what I really like. You can upgrade the building. You can um, do the, the things for the ships. You see it here with the Voyager as well. Um, there are bonuses um, cost efficiency stuff. I don't need the cost efficiency stuff for tearing up any of those because <laughs> I uh, 
think I maxed them all. I'm not so, no the video tallies I have a little bit to do still, but uh, it's not it's not that much. So that will not be the big help for me. But for people on lower levels, um, they are right. This is um, really a help to progress faster with the ships because of the cost efficiencies that you get with them, plus the cost efficiencies from the building itself. So without it being completely paywalled and without them uh, the the archives being completely paywalled which is not the case in in, in 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 both cases which i was worried about it's a really nice one it will help a lot of players and uh, for once despite all the bugs that these updates brought in on, on uh, in other places in the game this is something where i can only have good things to say about especially um because it will still help me with all the, the Sigma um, bonuses here for the Sigma resources. They are a pain as well, like the normal resources in many cases. So I really like that they brought that in. It, it will make my life a bit easier. And uh, I'm quite sure that will be the, the case for other players as well, for many other players. So it's just something positive I have to comment here. But I really would like to know your opinion about the new building as well, either in the comments below the video or on my Discord. You know, everybody is welcome there. And if you want to see another video now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.